Okay, so today I want to talk about some of the basics of the International Phonetic Alphabet chart and also what's expected of you in the Trinity Diptysol Phonology interview and some tips about how to go ahead and, and learn this stuff. So first, the IPA. Uh, this chart shows <clears throat> the 44 phonemes, the 44 sounds in the English language, which are divided into vowel sounds, there are 20, and consonant sounds, there are 24. And the vowels are divided into monophthongs, one sound, and diphthongs, two sounds together. So here are the sounds. All right. We have E, I, U, U, E, U, U, U. Ah, 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 and ah. <coughs> and then the diphthongs. <clears throat> we have ear, ua, air, <clears throat> a, oi, <clears throat> i, o, and ow. <clears throat> And then the consonants. <clears throat> First the plosives. P, B, T, D, K, G. And then the affricates. Ch, and j, and then the fricatives, f, v, th, th, s, z, <clears throat> sh, j, and And then the nasals, m, mm, n, mm, n, mm, the lateral u, and the approximants, r, w, and y. Okay. <clears throat> this little box here is um, there to show you stress. These are stress marks, primary and secondary, which are used um, when you're transcribing, okay? And then these show the possible intonations, falling, rising, and flat, and combinations thereof. <clears throat> Next, let's talk about, let's talk about voiced voices versus unvoiced sounds, all right? <clears throat> so if you use your voice box, your your uh, larynx, your vocal cords, to produce a sound, the sound is voiced. If you don't, it's unvoiced. <clears throat> so all, all vowel sounds are voiced. That gives us 20. Okay. <clears throat> All 
all the nasals are voiced. The lateral U is voiced and the approximants are all voiced. Now these sounds here, the plosives, affricates, and fricatives except for H, are arranged according to minimal pairs. P, B, T, D, Ch, J, K, G, F, V, Th, Th, S, Z, Sh, J are minimal pairs. And what that means is, <clears throat> for example, if I say these sounds, if I make these sounds, P, B, you can't see a difference because the difference <clears throat> with regard to how they're produced is minimal. It's just whether once it's whether the sound is voiced or unvoiced. <clears throat> so p p p requires you to breathe out more than than for b. B is voiced. Okay? So the second sound each pair is is voiced. B, d, etc. Voiced, voiced, voiced. Voiced, 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 voiced. And that's the only difference between the sounds in each pair. <clears throat> and that leaves us with p, t, ch, k, f, th, s, and sh, and h for unvoiced. So that's nine unvoiced. 9 from 24 is 15, 20 and 15, that's 35 voiced sounds in the English language. All right. There's a lot more to this chart, which I'm still learning, and uh, w which I'll explain in, in future videos. So the phonology interview is a 20 minute interview. It takes place, it takes place during <clears throat> your face to face portion of the Trinity Diptysol. You have five minutes for a transcription. You transcribe using this alphabet, this alphabet, the um, 15 to 20 words that your interviewer will, will read to you. And you might be asked to transcribe it according to their accent or yours. So you have to be ready to do both. And you'll have to identify three or more features of connected speech, which I can talk about in another video. Um, and then the remaining 15 minutes will be a Q&A. You'll have to answer questions about phonology. You'll have to use the correct terminology. And you'll have to talk about your students' pronunciation problems and how you address them. Um, the two books that you really need to know are How to Teach Pronunciation by Gerald Kelly and also Sound Foundations by <clears throat> Adrian Underhill. Okay, some tips. Um, some of these are common sense. Flashcards, I'm making all sorts of sets for various memory games and activities and puzzles. Um, I've printed out lots of different versions of charts and diagrams just to get different perspectives. Tracing paper for drawing where the sounds are produced in the mouth. Obviously my, <laughs> my whiteboard, which consists of three sheets of rabbit goo. Making videos like I'm doing, which makes me <laughs> study more and practice more and work on my presentation of the knowledge. Quizlet, if you haven't checked out Quizlet, uh, Quizlet.com is really good. You can make quizzes for yourself and for your students. You just enter your questions and answers, and then the site generates all sorts of different types of quizzes. So check that out. Um, teaching, teaching your students. I have the chart on my clipboard. I, I teach a little bit of pronunciation in every lesson. And mock interviews. You can work with a friend or a colleague and have them, have them help you, okay? So the IPA, the interview, some tips, good luck.
I look forward to your questions. Thank you.